let us now calculate the force exerted by a light beam on a mirror. And uh, the situation is shown here in the figure where uh, there is a vertical mirror on which uh, a light source projects a straight beam of light at an angle theta to the normal to this mirror. And uh, the power of this source of light is given as P watt. Now in this situation if we calculate the momentum of all the photons per unit time which are uh, traveling in this beam, say if it is delta P, then uh, we can write total momentum of uh, all photons in light beam per unit time. If per unit time if we calculate the momentum, it is actually the force exerted on a black body if it is placed in the path of this light beam. And this delta P we can write as P by C. If P is the power of the source, then P by C is the momentum per unit time. This we already discussed in the previous sections. So this is the momentum per unit time incident on the mirror at an angle theta from the normal to this mirror. On the situation, if this is the momentum delta P, here we can say along the direction of normal, the momentum which will incident is delta P cos theta, and along the direction parallel to mirror, it will be delta P sin theta. Here we have just resolved the momentum in two components as it is a vector quantity. When the light will incident and is reflected, According to laws of reflection in the same direction at an angle theta to the normal on the other side, we can see the momentum reflected per second is again delta P. So if again it is at an angle theta with the normal, we can see that it is reflected in the opposite direction as delta P cos theta and parallel to the mirror it is delta P sin theta. So here we can see in the direction parallel to the mirror before and after reflection, there is no change in momentum of light beam. That means the light beam has not imparted any momentum onto the mirror in the direction parallel to the mirror. But here we can see in the direction perpendicular to the mirror, the momentum of the light beam is reversed in direction. So here if we calculate the total change in momentum per second, of light beam, then it is only along the direction of normal, then we can write it is along n. And uh, this can be written as force because it is total change in momentum per second and the force exerted on mirror will be in this direction. And the magnitude of force is the change in momentum as uh, in direction it is reverse. So it can be written as 2 delta p cos theta, if we substitute the value of delta p, the value of force exerted on mirror, we can write as 2p by c cos theta. This is the result we are getting. And similar more cases we'll see later in various example and different kind of situations. And in every situation you need to analyze in the similar manner the way I've analyzed the situation.